Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Steve Arajo and I am owner and operator of TheBassHang.com and I am super excited to be on The Ultimate Guitar Show with Mark Seal. What I'm going to bring to you today is a little bit of low-end bass information for you. So I get asked quite a bit by guitar players, what type of bass should I get for recording? And my first answer is a precision bass. That's what this is right here. So we're going to discuss that. And then my second choice is a jazz bass, which I'll be showing you in a second. But typically, a Fender Precision or a Squire by Fender or any type of precision style bass is going to sound great. Plug it in. It's very simple. It's a very simple instrument. Not the prettiest sounding by itself, but in a mix, it just works. It fits. So typically, a Fender P style bass or a Fender precision style bass has a split single coil pickup so it is hum canceling which is great you're gonna have two control knobs one is volume and one is tone and an output jack so really no frills there's no preamp there's nothing basically just plug it in turn it all the way up mess with that tone a little bit I typically like to roll the tone off so I play with the tone at around 80 85 percent Depending on your rig, depending on the song you're, you know, the style or the song you're recording, you're gonna kind of vary it from there. But typically I will play it at 80%. And like I said, volume all the way up, plug in, and you're ready to go. So that's a Fender Precision Bass uh, or a P style bass. It's the same thing. They also call precision basses P basses. So, all right, next up is my second choice. Okay, guys, so for my second choice, I always choose a Fender Jazz Bass or a Jazz Style Bass. Again, Squire by Fender makes one, GNL, a lot of different companies will make this style of bass. So a jazz style bass or a jazz bass will have two pickups. So it differs from the P bass in that you're gonna get a little bit more tonal variance. So two pickups, you're gonna have typically a volume knob for each one of the pickups or a master volume and a blend and a tone control. Again, with the tone control, you're gonna have to mess with it, but for me, when I play, I typically play with the tone at about 80%. Uh, and again, depending, if I need a little more brightness, I'll turn it up, but I will play with both pickups all the way up, and that'll give me a really good fat tone. It's just very different. Both are different animals. Um, so what I'm going to present to you also here, I'm gonna play, play for you. I'm gonna actually play both of these basses. You're gonna hear them by themselves, and then in a mix, I'm gonna, solo the instrument, the P bass and the J bass, or precision bass and the jazz bass, and then you're gonna hear it in a mix. So you'll really, really be able to hear what these basses can do and what they sound like within context of a recording studio or recording environment, I should say. So what I've done with both basses, I've plugged into my direct box. I have an A Designs Ready, R-E-D-D-I, or Red D-I, and then I go straight into my Apogee Duet, and then into Logic Audio for you guys that are studio geeks out there like me. So that is my signal chain, and that's how I've recorded. So, um, and also I will mention that I, I play different styles. One's gonna be an eighth note style, the other's gonna be a kind of a syncopated um, R&B, type of groove, uh, and then I play with a pick. And let me just tell you, I never play with a pick. So, I do apologize for the, um, the slight hiccups there, but I wanted to really, really kind of show you guys what it sounded like, and you guitar players are gonna be much better than me, <laughs> especially playing with a pick, so you'll, you'll at least get an idea of what the basses sound like. So, um, the other thing I should say, with both basses, I did play with the pickups all the way up, the volume controls all the way up, and the tone control at about 80, 85%. So uh, I hope you enjoy the recordings and uh, let's take a listen.
right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed those little playing examples. I had a great time hanging out with you guys. Please go to thebasshang.com and check out my website. There's a ton of information on basses, recording equipment, uh, effects, and I keep updating it quite often. So check that out. And I want to thank Mark Seal for having me on The Ultimate Guitar Show with Mark Seal. And until next time, keep it low and keep it funky, and I will see you guys soon. Thanks again. Steve Araujo here. See you later. Bye.